More and more I'm discovering that there's two worlds in which we live. There's the world that we live in out there. It's the frenetic mess and chaos and flurry of the places we find ourselves in each and every day. It's the relentless pace of our jobs. It's the emails that sit waiting. It's the 24-hour news. It's the interminable list of our social media feeds. It's our kids' activities that chew up our weekends and our evenings and our checkbooks. But it's the reality that we find ourselves in each and every day. But as busy and as difficult as it can be, it's often easier to keep running hard and fast, to keep doing in the world that's out there as a way to achieve our hopes and our dreams. And we forget to seek those same things in here. A world inside each of us that is churning and pressing and pushing and pulling us into something more than just what's out there. I believe there is a God that knows us, and cares about us, and speaks to us about the deep things that stir inside of us. Our hopes, our desires, our longings, and our dreams. And he's begging us to pay attention to that which he is stirring inside of us. Not just so that we can do more things out there, but so that he can change who we are in here. For many of us, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing. We spend years asking ourselves what we want to be when we grow up. And we wonder how in the world we're supposed to figure these things out in the midst of all the noise out there. I've spent a lot of time wrestling with these questions. And the one thing I've learned is this. I no longer believe that there's always one thing we're supposed to be doing. But I do believe that there's one person that we're always supposed to be becoming.